These are the logs we cut down and loaded up in yesterday's video. The trailer is only half full, which means we need to get more logs. Just as I thought I was catching up with the dying trees over here, I found a couple more. Let's go get them before the bugs that are killing them spread to the other trees. Here's the stump we made yesterday. Right behind me are two more Douglas firs. I noticed this one is full of woodpecker holes, so it's as good as dead, so let's take it. It's hardly worth the time and effort to get these two small crooked logs out. Actually the bottom one isn't too bad, the biggest one, but at least we'll be getting the bugs that are in them out of the woods. We won't be able to get all the bugs out and won't be able to stop them, but at least maybe we'll be able to reduce the population in this spot where they've been very destructive in the last couple years, maybe slow their spread. Speaking of all that, guess what I found? Yup, another tree with woodpecker holes in it, which of course means the tree is full of, yes, flat-headed fur borers, which are killing the tree. It's already mostly dead, not quite to the point where it's time to go through its pockets looking for loose change, but definitely time to cut it down. But we have a problem. 
Of course we have a problem. The only good way we have to cut it down is right through here. Otherwise, everywhere else we have nice oaks that are going to get damaged. Since the Douglas fir are not doing well here, and the oaks are, we're favoring the oaks, especially the white oaks. But we want to protect them, but to get it to go that way, it's going to be difficult because it needs to go to our right, but it's leaning to our left, a heavy lean, and it's all tangled up in this fir, the smaller fir right next to it, right next to it. As it goes that way, there's a good chance this smaller fir is going to interfere with its falling. Then there's the big bushy dug fir behind it that could interfere with its falling, maybe even get it hung up. So we're going to pull it out with the tractor. I can pull just this one over and hope the limbs untangle from the other one so this one can fall. Or I could cut them both and pull them both over at the same time. The other one has conks in it, which means it's rotten and doesn't need to be here anyway. Both ways would probably work. The question is, which would be more fun? Probably both at the same time. Now I have three times the mess to clean up. I decided to cut off this third one so it would fall over too. It's hardly big enough to make a saw log, but it's really straight. And I think it'll make some lumber that's going to be very clear or have very small knots in it. It doesn't have the bugs like this one does. And I really don't need the wood, but it was in the way. And these oaks should be happy now without those dug fir shading them and pulling water out of the ground. The other one, probably not going to be any good for a saw log, has these conks in it, which means the wood is going to have these rotten spots in it. Probably even worse up there where the conks are. This one will probably be firewood.
Guess what I found up there? Two more dying trees. But we have a full load here. So we'll take these up to the mill, get those other ones another day. And I will see you later. <laughs>